there. Uh, glad you could stop by. I'm Clark Wayne, a storyteller. It's a perfect night for a story, don't you think? Uh, a story set on the big river? Uh, yes, the Mississippi River, from the woods of northern Minnesota to New Orleans. They say a drop of water that falls into Lake Itasca way up here will be in the Gulf of Mexico 90 days later. Of course, most people like to get down the river a little quicker than that. This is a story about just such a fella, and to tell it, we're gonna have to take a little trip down the old river ourselves. Hello, Chateau. Hello, Kimosavi. Not a soul out here at night. We should have the river all to ourselves. Oh, the mighty Mississippi, it's flowing strong and wide. Just me and you in an old canoe with a trusty Indian guide. Yeah, I'm a trusty Indian guide. I prefer the term Native American. Uh, did you say something? Ready? Okay! Gotta take a trip on the mighty Mississippi. Gotta take a little trippy on the mighty Mississippi. <laughs> Must be a slumber party. Gonna take a trip on the Mississippi. Gonna take a little trippy on the mighty Mississippi. Gonna take a trip on the Mississippi. Gonna take a little trippy on the mighty Mississippi. The mighty Mississippi, it's flowing strong and wide. Just me and you in an old canoe with a trusty Indian. Oh, I'm sorry. With my trusty Native American guide. Gonna take a trip on the Mississippi. Gonna take a little trippy on the mighty Mississippi. Gonna take a trip. Not so loud, Chato. Uh, this is where our story starts. Timber! Dooley and Son's Lumber Camp. Uh, that's Mr. Dooley himself. He was in the tree removal business. In fact, Dooley had a way of removing anything or anyone who lumbered in his way. <laughs> Get it? Lumber? Better! Harder! Faster! We're loggers! We're loggers! It's for Pete's sake, no singing! Hey, yeah. What seems to be the holdup, Otto? Oh, we're having a bit of trouble with this big one. Call Big Jim. Uh... Now, Otto. Big Jim, strong as an ox and twice as tall, struck fear into anyone that laid eyes on him. He was so tough, he could... Do I know you? Oh, don't mind me. I, I'm just the narrator. Okie dokie. Get a move on, Big Jim. I'm not paying you to stand around all day. Actually, you're not paying him at all. Oh, yeah. That's right, isn't it? <laughs> Unlike the other loggers, Big Jim was not an employee of Dooley and Sons, Inc. Five years ago, he was caught in Elk River, Minnesota with 1,100 pounds of stolen turkey jerky. As the sole witness, Mr. Dooley testified against Jim in court. Jim didn't go to prison. He was, however, sentenced to three years of community service at, of all places, a Dooley and Sons lumber camp. Good work, Big Jim. Here, have some jerky. Mm. <laughs> No, oh, Mr. Dooley, there's been an accident. What happened? It's Silverstein. He got a splinter. A splinter? Hurry, there's not much time. Oh. Hey, you there. Keep an eye on Big Jim. There are times when fate reaches down and grabs you by the lapels. This was one of those times. The logger in question, Steve, was not the sharpest blade in the sawmill. What Dooley said was, keep an eye on Big Jim. What Steve heard was, please run into town and get me a strawberry smoothie. Which is exactly what he did. For Big Jim, the cookie of opportunity was clearly on the table. He grabbed it. Oh, where's Big Jim? <laughs> Hey, why didn't you stop him? Oh, I'm the narrator. I'm not supposed to get involved. Otto! Stop it, Jim! You're gonna be in so Was that your 
a dog barking? Uh, no, that was Steve. He likes to bark when we chase things. <laughs> Well, that's just great. Is that a smoothie? on the Mississippi was quite so exciting, nor every situation so rife with turmoil. Take this scene, for example. That there green fella is Huckleberry Larry, though most folks just call him Huck. And the red guy is Tomato Sawyer. Most folks just call him Tom, since, well, tomato seems a little obvious. These two happy bachelors are homesteading. What's homesteading? Well, when the U.S. government settled the West, they cut it into little pieces of land called homesteads. Now, if you could live on a piece of land for five years without starving or getting run off by bears, the government would give it to you. These fellas been living on their homesteads for four years, 362 days. Yep, come Friday, just three days away, this land will be theirs. Three more days, Huck, and this land will be ours. Our dreams are coming true. Can I borrow some more nails? Sure thing, they're in my tent, behind the record collection. Once I own this land and finish my theme park, I'll be selling tickets and turkey jerky to all the jerky-loving folks on the riverboats. I'm gonna call it Jerky Land. Mr. Jerky will be my mascot. Uh, yeah, I I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Uh, where'd you say the nails were? Behind all the records. Now, before MP3 players, there were circular vinyl discs uh, called... Uh, oh, forget it. You and your obscure music. Uh, Bobby Roberts and his happy monkey? Mama Bell and little Jimmy? Mama Bell and little Jimmy <gasps> are not obscure. They sold over a million albums before little Jimmy disappeared five years ago. Huh. Uh, you know, Huck, uh, the theme park business is very capital intensive. It's hard to make any money in it. I'm not in it for the money, Tom. It's the action. Right. Uh, hey, have you thought any more about joining me in my new business? Uh, there's a lot of action in tax preparation. I still don't know what that is. Well, I'm gonna help people prepare their federal tax returns each year. It's very complicated, but I've got a good head for numbers. I'm sure you could pick it up, too. Uh, could you give me a hand? Sure. Always glad to help a friend. You know, there isn't a single tax preparer on the Mississippi anywhere between Minnesota and New Orleans. The market is wide open. What the tomato may have missed in his business plan is that this is 1904, and the federal income tax will not be established until 1913. For the next nine years, he will, in fact, have the market all to himself. What he will not have is customers. Or did you, still am I, am I to the, okay. I could tell him this, but as the narrator, technically speaking, I'm not supposed to get involved. Who's that guy? I think it was Colonel Sanders. Really? Where's your dog? What? Oh, that's Steve. He likes to bark. We're looking for a man, a dangerous man. Have you seen him? Wrong poster. No, I don't think so. Well, think harder. He tore up a factory with his bare hands, and he's headed your way. <laughs> this is a signal flare. If you see him, set this off, and we'll come running. Why did he tear up the factory? He was looking for something. What? Turkey jerky. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do now? We're going to Muscatine. But we've got to get back to camp. The boys won't know what to do without us. What are we supposed to do without them? 
We could say... Some men are dentists and some men are cops While, While others run delis or bicycle shops We fancy our flannel and extra long socks We only be happy with this job because We're loggers! We're loggers! Logs! You got the flare? Yes, it's right here in my tent. You got the matches? Yes, I have the matches. But honestly, why would he come here? We don't have any turkey jerky. No, but we're gonna, as soon as I open jerky land. Well, sure, but nobody knows that now. Do they? Do they, Huck? I might have put up a sign or two. 29. 29 signs? Where? Along the river. It's advertising, Tom. My amusement park for dummies book says I have to do it. Well, it doesn't tell you what to do when your advertising attracts a homicidal turkey jerky loving maniac, does it? I don't know. I'm only on chapter three. <laughs> huh? What was that? Phew. Hey, it's just birds. Okay, we need to come up with a plan. We need to take down all those signs. Tom? We need to build a fort with cannons. Tom? We need, say, 60 to 70 tall pine trees and iron ore for the cannons. Tom! What? He's right behind me, isn't he? Do you know the way to St. Louis? I want to zing with my mama. We don't have any turkey jerky. I haven't bought my inventory yet. I don't like turkey jerky. Well, of course you don't. <laughs> None of us like turkey jerky, do we, Huck? I love turkey jerky. I'm building the whole thing. <laughs> Signal flare. What? So, you aren't looking for turkey jerky. Mm. You just want to sing with your mama. In St. Louis. She said, meet me in St. Louis, Louis. But your name is Jim. My middle name is Louis. Right. Signal flare. So tell me, Jim Louis. Mama Bell called me Little Jimmy. Mama Bell and Little Jimmy. Well, sure. I could see why they'd call you Little Jimmy. Mama Bell and Little Yimmy. So, you were named after these guys? Mama! Uh, that's your mama? And me, Little Yimmy! That's you. I grew. Oh, well, sure you did. At Gay the Airflay. K O A. A Co A A. Okay. Mm. I'm just gonna go put the record away now. In the other tent. Why don't you take a nap on your boat? Or whatever. And we'll go call for help. <laughs> we have a, a signaling device. <laughs> How do I light it? With the matches, next to my books. <laughs> oh, here they are. So, rest well. Got it! Wait, not in a tent! Thank you for helping me. <laughs> it's the least we could do. You rest now. Help is on the way. What am I gonna do for a tent now? I didn't know it was gonna do that. Well, what did you think it was gonna do? The emotion of the moment was overwhelming. <gasps> Wait, the reward. What? Hundred dollar reward. That's right. You could buy a new tent. And you'll have enough money to finish jerky land. <laughs> this day has turned out all right after all. Yeah, as long as little Yimmy doesn't get hungry and eat us before that scary guy with the Steve dog gets here. <laughs> right. Do you hear something? Sounds like singing. River, a giggle with me. River, hear me and me. Wait a minute. 
river. Happy river, doot doot. Ooh, ooh. No need to doubt as we battle about a healthy river. Happy river, doot doot. Ooh, ooh. Catfish so quill and giggle with glee as we paddle down the river just by any and any. Don't need complaining at the miles that are remaining. Happy river, happy river. Happy river, doo doo. He's telling the truth. What? He's little Yimmy. It's him. But he's huge. He grew. It's him, I tell you. No one else can sing with Mama Bell just like that. Wait, I... And we just called that scary guy and barking Steve to come take him back to whatever nasty place they came from. I don't know. I. We gotta help him get to St. Louis so he can sing with his mama. Wait a minute. He tore up a factory. He couldn't have. He's allergic to turkey jerky. See? Huh? Little Yimmy sings the I'm allergic to turkey jerky blues? <gasps> it's the scary guy in Barking Steve. Run, little Yimmy. <laughs> we got to go wake him up. But, but the reward money. We got to save little Yimmy. <laughs> Too late. They're here. All right, where is that big ox? I should have known little Yimmy would try to get back to his mama someday. See? It is a little Yimmy. Hey, boss, look at this. That's where they lit the signal flare. But where are they now? Uh, boss? Big Jim? Is that you? Stop! Get back Come here! Back here. Only doggy paddles. Ah, I'll track you down if it's the last thing I do. Mama? Uh, no, little Yimmy. That's not your mama. But we're gonna find her for you, aren't we, Tom? All Tom could think about was the hundred dollars he just lost and the fact that if he wasn't back at that homestead by Friday when the man from the government showed up, he was gonna lose a whole lot more. You're on. What's my line? Just read the script. I don't have one. Larry, where's the script for the silly song? Oops. Don't tell me you forgot. I've got a song. You're a lifesaver. The biscuit of Zazzle Miranda bow. It lies atop a mound of snow. High in the hills where the cold winds blow. It's the biscuit of Zazzle Miranda bow. Come on, let's go! Our bags are packed and ready to go. Let's start, start the van and, and be gone. gone. Start the van and be gone now. Our bags are all packed and we're ready to go. Let's start the van and be gone. Come on, oh, man. let's go! Oh, what's that you say? We can't leave yet today. You've just got an errand to run. I just have to stop at the bank. You just have to stop at the bank? If you insist, I suppose, we can deal with a minor delay. Deal with a minor delay. Say, Archibald, who made this biscuit anyway? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Sir James McNabb of the Guild of Go. He made the biscuit so long ago, and the people they traveled to see it glow on the mountain of Zazamoranda. Come on, let's go! The biscuit of Zazamoranda. Oh, what is it now? This isn't the way. I just need to stop for some goldfish food. You don't even have a goldfish. No, but I was thinking of getting one and I wouldn't want him to go hungry. Anybody need anything? Uh, maybe a venti half calf vanilla hazelnut latte? Hold the whipped cream. <clears throat> and maybe one of those little chocolate covered graham crackers? So Archie, what's so great about this biscuit anyway? Well, if you really want to know, the biscuit of Zazamoranda Bow was lost in the world many years ago until my great uncle Archibow stubbed his toe on the frozen dough of the biscuit of Zazamoranda Bow. Come on! Oh, please! Go. No tea! The biscuit of Zazamoranda Bow! No, not again! It's just not fair! You gotta have a map. 
A what? A map. A what? A map. Oh, a, a map. map. The biscuit of Sazam or Andy The biscuit of Sazam or Andy Bow. The joy and thrill. I think I spilled the biscuit. The biscuit. The biscuit of Sazam or Andy Bow. Uh oh. Mmm, sausage gravy. Huh. I might have made a wrong turn. The biscuit of Doug? <gasps> back to the van! Back to the van! It isn't too late! Let's go! So high in the hills where the cold winds blow, the biscuit of Santa Miranda Bow. We're almost there! Oh, isn't this great? Who needs to take a party break? Me! I'm here! No! I suppose this has been Silly Songs with Archie. Tune in next time to hear Larry say. I always thought you were the announcer. So did I. Beautiful day, isn't it? Oh, how long was I sleeping? Where are we? I figure we're coming up on... Oh, hold on. <laughs> coming up on Davenport. And we're making good time. Making good time? We're making terrible time because we're not supposed to be going anywhere. We gotta get back. Wait, follow me. It's important to keep the raft balanced. <laughs> on account of little Yimmy being so big. <laughs> Oh, we've got to get off this raft and get back to our campsite before... <laughs> before the government man gets there and decides we starved or got run off by bears. Look, Tom, I have it all figured out. A couple hours ahead is a little town called Muscatine, so we can hop off there and put little Yimmy on the train to St. Louis. We can walk back home by Thursday, plenty of time. <sighs> uh, fine. Uh, okay, Huck, Muscatine, uh, but no further. It is a lovely day on the river. Oh. Ah! Lovely. Hmm. Refreshing. <laughs> when you're slipping down the Mississippi, there ain't no need for getting lippy. Lays in the sun, or take a dippy. The fishing's always good. Kind of just grab a pole and drag a liner. Lie on back, there's nothing finer. A big head cock or a red fin shiner abiding like they should. <laughs> well, well, the, the river, river is, is my neighbor. neighbor. Excuse me, uh, this is the narrator's song. Oh, I thought you were the chicken guy. <laughs> Not a word, Chato. Well, the river is my neighbor, and the river is my friend. You'll find another story hiding round each river bend. That's right. <laughs> so take me down the Mississippi. Your hair is long, it needs a clippy. Bring a coat, the nights get nippy. On this you can depend. Oh, the river. She's my friend. The bad man in the mask dumped the jerky in your hands right when the police showed up? Yes. That's why I spent five years at the lumber camp. But you only had to serve three years. Mr. Dooley thought I couldn't count. That's nice. Hey, shouldn't we be coming up on m m m Muscatine? There it is. Muscatine. Okay, Jim. We're gonna... You're going to put me on a train to St. Louis, then you're walking home to meet the government man by Thursday. Right. 
Uh, that's right. Uh, Huck, run up ahead and look for the train station while I tie up the raft. Aye, aye, Captain Tom. Secure the area and pick up some donuts. Donuts? Everyone deserves donuts for a job well done. Excuse me, sir. Would you happen to know where I can find a train station conveniently located next to a bakery? Uh, you head down the street yonder, young fella. Thank you. Wow, what a great town. This place has got it all. Friendly town people, shopping, baby with a signal flare. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Excuse me. Oh. 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 Really sorry about that. Excuse me. Hey, is there something I can help you with, Sonny? Ah. So, uh, you play any football in high school? You got the size for it. No, I was in musicals. Really? Tom! Tom! <laughs> Signal flares. The babies? Yeah, Tom. The babies. I. No, Huck. I said I'd go to Muscatine. That's it. I did my part. Uh, we gotta get back home, or we'll lose everything. I know. Do you want to be bachelors living in tents for another five years? No. But I want to help little Yimmy find his mama. Let's just get back on the river and think this over. Come back with my donuts, you thieves! And my good baker, your own signs and free samples! It also said, take one! Simply a rounding error on my part! Rock! You accept my apologies as graciously as I have accepted your free samples! Looks like these two rascals are in a heap of trouble. I wonder what Tom, Huck, and Jim are up to. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Yeah, real close. Oh dear. Uh, oh, good day, gentlemen. Our vessel is proving herself less than seaworthy. Uh, might we come aboard? Absolutely not. Uh, no more helping. There could be a donut in it for you. You're really a king and a duke? Indeed. Of what? Well, my good tomato, you are looking at the king of Memphis. And my good friend here, the Duke of New Orleans. Pleased to meet you. But we don't have royalty in America. Obviously, you've never been to the South. And who might your prodigious compatriot be? I'm sorry? Who's the big guy? Oh, uh, that's Jim. As in, big Jim? Do you know the way to St. Louis? I want to sing with my mama. St. Louis? Uh, that's the site of the World's Fair. Is that where your mama is? Meet me in St. Louis, Louis. Meet me at the fair. I love that song. Meet me in St. Louis, Louis. I thought his Meet name was Jim. His middle name I is Louis. I will be your uh, Susan Lucci. Well, what town are we coming up on next, Duke? Uh, I don't know. Uh-huh. I'll tell you what, friends. Since you were so kind as to snatch us from the river's icy jaws, the Duke and I will escort your large compatriot down to St. Louis. And as a token of gratitude, we will give each of you $10 for train fare back north to wherever you came from. 
Did you hear that, Huck? A train fare back up north. They'll take little Yimmy to St. Louis, and we can get back to our homesteads on time. Um. Put us ashore at whatever town we come to next, and we'll telegraph ahead and let your mama know that we're on our way to the fair. Do, do, ooh, ooh. Do, do, ooh, well, where are ooh. they? They've been gone almost an hour. If we leave right now, we still might be able to make it back before the government man shows up. Uh, yeah. Look, Tom, I've been thinking. Maybe we should ride along, just to be safe. Have you forgotten about my tax office? And jerky land? Isn't that what you've always wanted? Yes, but I want to help little Yimmy, too. I've got news for you. I didn't hurt little Yimmy. I'm not the one who sent him up the river away from his mama. I didn't hurt him, so I shouldn't have to help him. Sometimes, not helping is the same as hurting. What? That makes no sense. If we see someone who needs help and we can help them, I think that's what God wants us to do. Well, you... I'm gonna make sure little Yimmy finds his mama. Oh. I say, good news, friends. Everything is arranged. The telegram is on its way, and here is your $10 for train fare. I, I'm gonna make sure little Yimmy finds his mama. Is that more important than the last five years of hard work? The situation is under control. Uh, the Duke and I are skilled uh, raft drivers. I'm gonna make sure little Yimmy finds his mama. Then you'll be by yourself. Goodbye, Huckleberry Larry. Goodbye, Tomato Sawyer. I'm sorry, Huck. Let's go find your mama. No point both of us losing our land. Besides, I I'm sure little Jimmy will be fine. <laughs> Hello. Ahem. May I help you? Oh, uh, yes. I need a ticket. North to Dubuque or south to St. Louis? <sighs> North. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Uh -huh. Could you hand me my fishing pole? I didn't knock it down. <laughs> and besides, I'm not supposed to get involved. <laughs> well, of all the... <laughs> my lucky fishing pole! That guy could have helped me. Listen, buddy, I hope you learn someday that... that not helping someone can be the same thing as hurting them! <sighs> not helping. <gasps> Little Yimmy. That'll be five dollars and seven cents. Here's ten bucks. I'm going south to St. Louis. Hang on, little Yimmy. Help is on the way. Ah! Yes, it looked like everyone was headed for the St. Louis World's Fair. What? Where'd you want the story to end? The parking lot of a Kentucky Fried Chicken? Trust me, uh, this will be fun. Oh, here comes little Yimmy hucking those two rascals now. Wow. Most of this was built in my honor, you know. What, me being the king and all? Yeah, me too. It's time to find your mama, little Yimmy. But first, we need to lose the pickle. I thought he was a cucumber. Oh, look at the log ride. Mm. Ah, yeah. Why, Huck, if you look closely, you'll see my name engraved in that log. I don't see anything. Uh, lean a little further. You'll see it. No, I still don't see <laughs> it. Oh, there's so much to see here. Please remain seated while the vehicle is oh. in motion. Are, are you okay? I'm fine, little Yimmy. We'll find your mama in a minute. Oh, look, little Yimmy. Here comes your mama now. There he is. It's Big Jim, the turkey jerky bandit. Look. You're coming back with me, Big Jim, for a long, long time. Leave him alone! Hook! Ahem. 
before we turn him over, there is the issue of reward. <laughs> He's all yours. Bye. Get back here. Where do you think you're going? We're gonna get him. Oh, Louisa. Little Yimmy, where are you going? I'm coming to help you. Oh, that's okay. I'm doing fine. <laughs> I'll help you, Hug! I'm good. Thanks, little Yimmy. That's my meal ticket. Otto, get me a flare. Oh, dear. Fire in the hole! your good friend Tomato. And your lucky fishing pole. I'm sorry, Huck. You were right all along. We do need to help others, even when it's not easy. I forgive you, Tom. <gasps> Little Yimmy! Do you know the way to St. Louis? Right now. <gasps> He's on the Ferris wheel! He's on the Ferris wheel! Follow me! The river is blue because it's full of my tears. Poor little Yimmy, ain't seen him in years. I wish I could. Hi, little Yimmy. Hi, Mama. Little Yimmy? Mama? Little Yimmy? Mama! Yimmy! Not so fast! That guard is a wanted criminal! My Yimmy? Oh. That fella belongs to me! <coughs> officer, hey officer! Someone run off with all my turkey jerky! <laughs> Oh, oh I, I, I was going to come back and pay you for every last stick. <laughs> Officers, I suggest you re-examine the Elk River Turkey Jerky case. We have a new suspect. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> May I? Oh, be my guest. <laughs> I thought you couldn't get involved. Well, that's just it. When you see that someone needs help and you know you can help them, you just have to get involved. Sing me a song as we paddle along the healthy river. Happy river. So things ended up pretty well. Mama Bell and Little Yimmy were making music again. Why, they even released a new album. <laughs> down here. Oh, good. You know, I'm so hungry, I could eat a whole donut. donut. Huh? You guys! Ah, get get back me. here with all the donuts! Like me. Those aren't even <laughs> that day on me. <laughs> <laughs> yep, everything worked out pretty well. Wait a minute. Oh, what about me and Huck? We've got nothing left except one tent and a broken fishing pole. It's a lucky fishing pole. He's got a point. I guess. Come to think of it, I got a nice piece of land down by the river. I hardly use it except strumming my banjo on the dock. You want to set up your businesses there? Isn't that where you raise your chickens? <clears throat> Not a word, Chato. It's chicken free. Are you interested? Well, sure we are. I'll have a tax preparation office up in no time. Oh, yeah. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. No need complaining. I thought I was at 